Now we're going to look at creative use of warp modes within vocals. I have this recording from Holly Thornton, and we're just going to play that, and then we're going to play with the different warp modes and what we can do with them later on. I don't want to give you up. I don't want to hold you up. I don't want to pick you up. I just know that I have enough. I don't want... Right? It's pretty good. It's a great start of something. And the two modes that I like to use when affecting the vocals are Complex and Complex Pro. Now in Complex, let's solo this. I don't want to give you up. I don't want to hold you up. I don't want to pick you up. I just know that I had enough. Now if you can hear that, it's a little off. It's a little grainy sounding. That's because I did some corrective timing within this. Now. Complex Pro is a more advanced algorithm, which takes care of a lot of those issues, especially with vocals. So if I put this into Complex Pro and play it, you'll probably notice that it is a lot cleaner of a sound. I don't want to give you up. I don't want to hold you up. I don't want to pick you up. I just know that I had enough. I don't want to give you up. As you can see, the Pro is a little bit cleaner. Now, when you're editing vocals, I suggest staying within Complex Pro. There are some other interesting changes within Complex or Complex Pro that can be used creatively. If I go with Complex and I pitch it, let's just say down five. I don't want to give you up. I don't want to hold you up. I don't want to pick you up. I just know that I have enough. Now we start hearing this type of sound a lot in electronic music, trap, things like that. Now it becomes even more obvious if I bring it down to let's say 7. I don't want to give you up. It's lower pitched, but it's pretty much just re-pitching it. It doesn't have the same natural qualities of a human voice. And that's where Complex Pro comes in and what these two settings are. So in Complex Pro, using the foreman and envelope, we're trying to basically grab the parts of the human voice that make it sound natural and then adjust it differently than the transpositioned part of the rest of the vocals to make it seem more realistic. Well, even let's just play it now. I don't wanna give you up. And notice I that don't difference. Now we can move the format, which I like to think from male to female. I don't wanna give you up. I don't wanna hold you up. I don't wanna pick you up. And then with the envelope, the speed of which it's taking on. I don't wanna give you up. I don't wanna hold you up. I... So I find about in the middle of the envelope is good, and depending on what you're trying to do with the vocal, you can move it low or high. I don't wanna give you up. I don't wanna hold you up. For this one, I like it right in between. So this is a great start of doing something creative, right? Well, something else you can do is if I just duplicate it, I press Control D or Command D to duplicate that whole track. Let's put this one in normal, and then this one is pitched down. So now let's play that. I don't want to give you up. I don't want to hold you up. I don't want to pick you up. I just know that I have enough. Awesome. Now we're off to some cool start with all these different harmonies and things that we can do. But you can even get more interesting by coming in here and doing something like I'm pressing Control E or Command E to cut. And then let's transpose this by five. And we can then create different. I don't want to hold you up. I don't wanna pick you up. Like, let's take this whole section and transpose it down as well. So let's even go 12. And we can, the interesting thing about clips is I can have different settings for different parts of the track as soon as I cut it, because when I cut it, it turns it into its own clip, right? So any parameter changed here is different from everything else. 
The great thing about that is I can then change the formats. And that way I can begin to get some really interesting change. Now, if we were going to go with more like electronica, trappy sound, then we would just kind of come in here. Start editing. And maybe I go plus five and... All right, so I'm just going ahead and doing some interesting little changes here, chopping things up, moving them around, seeing if I can cool. And that's how you can start creating interesting glitches and things like that we see in a lot more EDM and trap style music, dubstep, things like that. A lot of these newer genres that are coming out. And that's a very creative way of using warp mode, specifically pro and complex. I highly suggest chopping up this sample that I have within this live pack and playing with using different settings for different parts and making a new melody line out of this vocal. It's a very fun activity and you'll be surprised the kind of effects you can get, especially once we start adding things like reverb. I don't, don't wanna give you up. I don't so that's creative use of the warp modes on vocals.